All right, one last midnight, and we're playing a little bit of Autonauts today. Let me just load the game up. Sorry, I was a little bit late, but I was uh, trying to get some water because water is good. Water is grand. What's going on, everybody? So you can't really control the speed of this game. I mean, you can pause it. But what happens is you go to a pause menu. So it doesn't like <laughs> it doesn't let you pause this area so tonight is going to be about efficiency and trying to rework some things and then also i think possibly this might be the last time that i play this game so we're going to have a nice long stream and then that'll be it that for the channel unless like i said unless you guys overwhelmingly want it but uh honestly i think people have seen enough and kind of made up their mind about this game so let's go ahead and move some stuff around i need to go to level two um research but i need to move i want to i want to move this i don't need to move it but i want to move this over mainly because um the yeah i'll just put it right there the um this storage is getting a little bit i, I have some some chopping blocks over here and the storage is like it's blocking it so i i really want to move this storage over so let's Let's start working on that. As you get deeper and deeper into this game, things just take longer and longer to do from, from what I've seen, okay? So, uh, you know, I, I might be doing something wrong. That's that's one heck of a possibility. Or, um, it just gets to be a lot of, what I notice is it gets to be a lot of management. Let me get, let me pick up this ax. I don't know if this ax is sitting over here. I think I need a scythe. To be able to cut down this um, this stuff. This game is Autonauts. And so the deal with this game is you wind up creating these robots to do stuff. And uh, what they're doing right now is you got them working. I thought I had a scythe laying around. Oh, there it is. Okay. I knew. I knew I had one. Oh, let me pick this up. Let me pick this flail up. Put it over here with the other one. And then uh, pick up this scythe. And let's see if we can go cut this grass because I want to move, but I want to use this spot. I want to move this stuff. I don't know if I need to dig it up or if I can just cut it and it'll give me the space. Let's see what happens. I think it's just going to... Okay, gave me grass seeds. Okay, perfect. Gave me grass seeds like this grass over here. So that means I can uh, move. drop this down I think I can pick these seeds up good and now I can put something on top of that which is this so let's move these guys over so this is kind of like I don't want to say it's kind of like Factorio but it's you know it's a production game where you're uh you know sorry uh, yeah, I don't want that there. I want this over here. Like that. And I don't want this over here. Good. That'll work. So now I've got this area exposed. I can see what's going on. So they can go back and forth to this. Okay. Um, let's get this upgraded. So it's a production game. You wind up building a bunch of stuff. And uh, you upgrade along the way. And, you know, you, you're essentially controlling these robots and these robots are doing everything for you right so you're building an army of robots and though you're telling these robots hey go do this and the way that that works is they've they've got a programming language and so you program to go you program to go do things and then it's automated and you know they they rely on power and uh let me get some research going i think i want to go with Level two bots. Yeah, right here. So I need a bot head. And can I make a bot head? Oh, I can't make a bot head until we have um, the new bot bench down. Let me put the new bot bench down and get this built. And so, yeah, you know, you, you wind up. It's more like of a bot management game really than anything else. But that's it. Like the stream now, or was his minion bots after you? Yes. But it's interesting because as you start playing the game, you're you're not only having to 
you know, wind up telling your boss to go do stuff, but you, you have to really, like, upgrade your bots because your bots are very limited. You do get upgrades, like a memory upgrade or speed upgrades or, you know, those things. But ultimately, you want to get to the next bot level because it holds even more and it's faster. And I, I believe there's three levels of bots. And I, I haven't... I've, I'm playing on a different save, but I haven't gotten up to the third level of bots. Uh, you haven't seen any of my videos on this? Well, you haven't been paying attention. They're there. So let's make a bot head. So this is the level one bot. So you have a basic bot and this is the level one bot. And the head is a plank and a seed, which are very easy to make. So let's get this over here and let's go get a seed. And let's go put him over here and let's get the head built. And we need this head because we want to tell the research to go research the next level bot, which is the head. And we have to put the head on here. And now they start doing it. So they cr collect. Uh, these little colonist guys get fed and they produce love. <laughs> I think it's pronounced love, like love, like a baby says love. It's love. So they pronounce, they, they produce that. That gets put into the research chamber and then you get points for that. And right now they're level one colonists. So I get one research point per love or love or whatever it is. And so I, I need a thousand to get to the next level. So that's a lot, right? It's a lot. We're not going to worry about that. What we're going to worry about doing is um, changing some logic. We would like to get these guys to level two so that they're producing level two stuff. And, and before we can do that, we need to have some bots going to um, make level two food. But even before we do that, I want to change some of my production. So I have some groups of bots and I want to change the recharger units. So this recharger units got this whole area and he's only doing one thing. It's not very efficient. So you have 8K, 8 kilobyte left to do more stuff, but they're not doing it right now, which is fine. I'm not worried about it because I wanted to get to level two first. So let's get to level two first before we do anything. And what I'm gonna need to create is I'm gonna need to create a head, a body, and a drive. So let's see here. We got a seed and a plank. There's my seed. We get my plank for the head. And we're going to create the drive, which I... Or the body. Two planks and a pole. So let's create the body. Two planks. And a pole. Cuteness factor is 100. Yeah, okay. There's a whole lot of wealth. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> right. I tried this game out. Uh, I haven't tried this game out yet on the video you posted earlier. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, the game is interesting. It it gets really deep. I mean, look, look, here's the technology tree. The technology tree is pretty deep and it takes a while to get through the tech and you've got to you've got to really change the efficiency of your bots and, and move stuff around. It's not it's not all that easy. All right, so uh, first thing I want to do is I want to get the uh, drive unit in. So one, one, and one. You know, the first thing is getting up to the point where you, you're even at this level of production. So you've got to build up to this level of production. And um, yeah, it takes a while. It takes a while and you have to think out the programming on your bot. Okay, so now we essentially have a level two bot. So what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our bot. This guy... I want to stop what he's doing and I want to call him over to me, which I think is, uh, this button, drop everything, come to me. Wait, wait, why don't I move over here? Come to me over here. I want you to stay right there. So let me go get your stuff. The only, there's a couple things I don't care about this game, which is, one is, um, you can't really, it shift left click. Or, or control left, control right click. Okay, uh, you can't really hold more than one item. So if you see I pick up an item, you can see I can hold four of those of the same type. You can't hold four different items. You can only hold four of the same type of items, which makes a lot of back and forth happening. I don't care for the back and forth. Of course, you're not supposed to be doing everything. Your robots are supposed to be doing everything. All right, I have flipped out this bot. His old parts are here. 
and and now I uh, you know have the new guy right so he's all revved up this is a v2 bot and if we have a look at him number four you'll see he now has 12 kilobytes free I, I want to do something else before we we get him back into the production line so there is a way to upgrade his memory uh, that's efficiency oh upgrade his search so let's get his search going four planks and a pole Three, four. And a pull. You're still. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Playing for your head? That was how I made it. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to upgrade his search radius. So he's upgraded. And now I want to upgrade his memory. I forgot where the memory is. Uh, extra memory, crude brain. Okay, two poles and two seeds. So let's get two poles. Two. Put them in. Ooh, yeah, put them in here, right? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. No. Make this. Thank you. Two poles and two seeds. I really should change the. There's a different way to get seeds because uh, these seeds are also used to replant the trees right now. Okay, so I'm going to give him a bigger brain. So he had 12, and now he has... How many, hey, bud, how much you have? You have 16. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to change his brain completely. Let's put you down for a second. So I'm going to start recording again, and I want to go recharge this bot. So go move to charge bot, and then I'm going to move away. And the reason for that is because I didn't want him to to uh, do anything else yet. And then I want to go back to the charge bot again. And go to charge the bot. Move away. Okay, good. All right, so now I have these two loops. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to say in this radius. And we're going to max the radius out. And you can see how big the radius is now that he has increased his search. So we're going to, oops, sorry. We're going to move this area. I want him to be, I want him to include all of my chopping area, which I believe is here. And the first part of the factory. Okay, that's good. Let's look at the second area. We're gonna max that area out. We're gonna move it. And that's gonna cover this part. And then the third area, I don't think he can do, I don't know that he has brain enough to do four areas. He does have 9k left. Uh, let's get our loops in and see what we have left. We might have enough to do four. So let's put a loop in here. Oh, um, hold on. I can control, select multiples. We're going to do this forever. And I should get rid of that. Let's put another loop in here. And we're going to move this into here and do this forever. How much do I have left? 8K? I can do four. So let's go back to this bot. Charge that bot. Move away. Okay, get rid of that command. Put an additional loop in here. Do this forever. Oops. Okay, well, that was what I wanted to do, but. And let's increase this max area and move it here. All right, beautiful. So now I'm going to be, this one robot will be searching all of these areas for recharging. That is correct. Now I do have an overlapping thing. So what is that? That's that one. Oops, this one. Why is this so small? So one, two, three, four. Ooh, oh, I got an extra one. Sorry, missed one. Max area. Oh, this here. Bingo. All right. This one bot is going to be looking for this entire area to recharge. Now... 
we want to do one additional thing. Because these bots are kind of dumb. So what this little down arrow says... Oh, dang it. I didn't want to do that. Stay down. Yeah. Okay. So what this little down arrow says is if this fails, if they can't find a bot in this particular area to jump down to the next block of code, and that is this. Okay. And the last thing we want to do is we want to put this whole thing in the forever loop. Okay, good. That's it. They're just going to repeat. He's going to go run it. Right. So he's looking. Hey, no bot to charge. No bot to charge. No bot to charge. And let's just check to see if this is right. Because it's not. And why is he not even charging somebody? He should have charged this guy. Find near a spot in this area right here. Uh, he's charged up, right? Yeah, you should have found this guy. Find near a spot in that area. Move the charge bot. Recharge bot. Yes, find. Nearest a discharge bot. Move the bot. Because they're dumb. <laughs> I, yeah, let's see if I... I might have hosed this one because I was using it as my example, but hold on. Let's just watch him. He's got his code. He's doing his thing. This guy's about to run out, and so we'll see what's happening. We'll see if he goes and he charges. While he's doing his thing... Uh, where can we make the... Yeah, let's make the crude data storage. Which is two planks, two poles, two seeds. Two planks. Two poles. And two seeds. Do I have seeds down here? Yeah, let me take some seeds from down here since they're going to use those to plant trees with. Okay, we need this because we want to transfer. Once his code is working, we want to transfer his code to a different bot. So we're waiting for somebody to run out of power. Matter of fact, let's, um, as a group, let's pause all of these guys. Or stop all of these guys. We're going to stop all the charge bots except for this one. There he goes. He found somebody. Going to go charge him up. Okay, let's see if he finds somebody else in his radius. This guy's about to charge out. About to lose his charge. So, okay, so... Alright, that guy's out. So let's see. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Good old trusty number four. Done. Alright, good. So I have, essentially, with number four... I have pretty much my entire production area covered. A little bit up here. I mean, ultimately, I would like to have another bot do something else. But I probably should shift my coverage over a little bit to have over coverage and have a total of four bots. And right now, I have one, two, what was it? Six? Six bots. I have six bots doing the work of what four bots could do. So let's think about shifting four a little bit. Let's uh, stop what he's doing. Let's move his his work area over. I want to shift it down and over a little bit because um, I'm thinking potential growth. So I want, I think that looks good. And where's the second? Where's the second area? Second area is there, so I want this down and over. Okay. Third area. Move my third area. Over here. Cover this range. And... I don't think I'm going to be going down into this area anytime soon. 
So, let me move the last one right here. All right, and then I'll do two, and then three to cover this top area. Perfect. That'll work. So go back to work. Uh, I want to copy his brain. We have the data thing. We do. Let me pick up the data right now. And really quick. Oops, don't pick that. Dude, don't drop that on the ground. What are you doing? Let me uh, stop number four. And let's go copy his brain. I think it was shift, right? Or... I believe it's shift. I copy it. Blank. Uh, control, right? Okay, we downloaded him. All right, and it says... What does it say? No, 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 no. Why does that data blank? Why does it say blank? That's down. Okay, all right, all right. We uploaded it to us. There we go. So now this data storage has MK004, which is that bot, right? All right, let's hold off on him. MK004 is done. Let's make a couple more storage for this garbage. I hate that we have to store this garbage, but let's make a couple more storage. I believe, let's just check really fast. I believe that the bot parts go in a box. Yep, they go in a box. And let's get the box going. Let's just put it for here right now. Let's get these three done. Four, four. So let's run over here. Well, here's something kind of interesting. This bot is not recognizing that berry guy that's out. Hmm. We're going to have to look at... Oh, did I turn him back on? Oh, I didn't turn him on. His, his head's not blinking green. Hold on. No! Hey! Why is your brain empty? Oh... I didn't mean to steal from your head. You're supposed to be able to... Okay. Is, are you coded again? Hey, wait, wait. Don't go back over there. Code him back up again. Oh, don't make me program him all over again. <laughs> when a new guy's brain goes dead, I know what happened to his brain. Oh, man. How'd I screw the pooch on this guy's brain? And I don't know if this is uh, has any data in it. We killed his brain. We killed his brain. Uh, dang it. We killed his brain. I got to do that stuff all over again. Uh, da, da. 
How I love my bot. Uh, 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 love you, bot, bot. Uh, uh. Two. Three. Four. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Up there. Dumb bot. You stinky dumb bot. <laughs> we killed <laughs> we killed his brain. We did. We totally killed his brain. Okay, forever in area. Move this guy around. Good. Pull out another loop. Okay, forever. Max radius. Bingo. And finally, last loop. Or next to last loop. Forever. Change the area. Give it max. Bingo. All right, good. There's that done again. Put this all in a loop forever. Let's see. Fail through, fail through, fail through, fail through. Ouch. Uh, undo. Fail through. All right, done, 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 done. Good. Done. Done. Okay. Now, let's see if I can't copy his brain correctly. I'm going to actually have to look up this data storage because I thought I was doing it right. Uh, Autonauts. Memory. Is that memory or data? Data storage. Okay, data storage. Uh, control left click saves the program to the data storage. Okay, that's what I wanted. Control left click is it because he's active uh i think it's because he's on oh and that's eight where's four there's four let's run it and then stop hey you know what come over to me i, I don't want to have to come over to you come over to me bud I don't want to have to be walking over to you. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Control left click saves their brain. Good. Now this should be storage four. Good. You go do your business. Go do your business. Okay. Let's go upgrade another bot. We need a bot head. Plank and a seed. Plank and a seed. <laughs> Monday fail typing. Did you get the quote? You did, you added. <laughs> quote number two is added. We key you this brain. <laughs> You're going to have to fix the quote, though. <laughs> we key you this brain. All right, let's make a body. Two planks and a pole. <laughs> uh, and a pole. Finding commands for him to fix. I, 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 oh, finding the commands for him to fix. Uh, let's see. The drive is a pole plank and a log. Let's see. Pole. Plank. 
Oops, come on, drop it off. The log. Good. Okay, excellent. Where's my recharger at? Is he like running around doing his thing? Oh, this guy must be out of the charge area. Yeah, he's out of the charge area. Hold on, we'll get you fixed in a second, bud. Uh, okay, we want to upgrade number eight. Where's number eight? Yeah, why don't you come to me? Why don't you? No, no, no. Don't want to record. Stop. Run. Stop. Come to me. Actually. Okay, eight's coming over to me. Come right here. There you go. We'll get eight fixed up in a minute. So let's take the body. Add it to eight. Chink. Good. Hey, put the robot down, dude. There we go. Put a body in here. This body, put it in here. Good. Okay, let's take the head. Are you able to rename the bots? Good question. I haven't tried to. Let's see. Okay, the head's in there. Put another. Oop, that wasn't the head. I think that was the that was the body. I did the dry bot last. Okay. Let's put that in there. Good. Up you down right here. All right, let's go over and make a. We need a brain, which is two and two. Two poles. Two. Two acorns. Is there any acorns down here? There's a couple. Like I said, I want to keep my acorns on the other side over there because that's what they're using to plant the trees. There is a way to get acorns without chopping down a tree, and that is to, um, oh dang it, I dropped them on the ground. That is to use a mallet on the tree and it'll drop any kind of berries and any kind of stuff. I ain't nobody. Let's pick up the memory, give him a memory upgrade. Chink -a chink and let's look at the search and give him a search upgrade. Poles, planks, four. And we need one pole. Okay. Guy number two has been completed. Let's, uh, what's it, four and four, right? Four. Let's make another box for these body parts. So far, I haven't seen a way to delete something. There, there needs to be like an incinerator. You know, just get rid of it. Don't want it anymore. See you later. Okay, store those guys off. Good. And let's get this this last one complete so I don't have stuff laying around. Oh, you fixed it. Nice. All right, drop the heads off. All right, cleaned up. This guy, we want to take this uh, off of its running instructions and use control right click. The give data, control right click. Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. We're gonna give control right click. All right, tell me this is still four and look at Bot 8. Oop, put you down, bud. Aha! Bot 8 now has the appropriate instructions. Good. Go run. Alright, so now I have two bots working that area. And the concept behind the two bots is, is that one recharge bot in an area is always going to run out. But two recharge bots are very unlikely to run out. So you'll have one run out and then the other one will run over and recharge it and vice versa. And you might get an effect of where they both 
mess up, but it's low. It's lower. Okay. So let's fix 14. Let's get 14 running and 14 is also a recharge bot, which is kind of interesting. So we're going to get you fixed up, bud. Just stay right there. And we need to make you some stuff too. So we need two more bots running to really get this process going. So let's get another head going. My whole production is down right now because of I'm not focused on anything else but getting these uh, these bots built. I need to get the rest of my production built. And people are running out of power outside of the radius of where they're supposed to be. So stuff is stopping. Uh, body, two planks and a pole. But you can see where this game kind of takes up some time. You know, it, it it's fascinating on uh, just the gameplay because I never had to really manage a bunch of bots and program them and stuff like that. So the challenge is really just getting the bots to do these production lines. And once you get them programmed, they don't stop except for when they're out of power. And so if, as long as you have somebody powering them, forget it. It's, it's never ending. They just keep going and going. Energizer bunny all the way. All right, let's upgrade this particular bot. Give him a whole new deal. And drop off the head. Drop off the body. Oh, uh, hey, hey. Drop off the drivetrain. Let me get um, all the plank for planks. Holes. We'll get the search and the memory going. Okay. Search upgrade. And we need the memory up or the brain upgrade, which is uh seeds. Uh and my I can't take seeds from over here. If I take seeds from over here, we're gonna cause some problems. Matter of fact, nothing is growing. Uh hold on, I need to quickly fix this problem. There is an issue where stuff will disappear if it's on the ground and sits there too long. So right now, there, I think somebody's waiting on a shovel. Yeah, here he comes. He needed a shovel. So he'll plant and then the trees will grow and this whole process will start all over again. Let's just make a couple backup shovels. I need a bot to be making my tools. That's one of the things I want to get accomplished is try to get a bot to automate the whole tool, produ tool production so that there's uh, one of each tool in there at all times. Okay, so we have enough shovels. Trees are getting planted again. Seeds will start falling again. Let's take the seeds from over here. The two of them. And we'll get these poles. All right. Good and good. Let's take this memory and let's see. Control right click. We're going to download it to his brain. Now we're going to look at 14. And we're going to move some of his stuff around. So we want to move 
this, oops, record, we move this area, yes. This area to be here. Or actually, we'll move those two up. So we'll move it right here. Well, let's see. Okay, we had this area covered. Hold on, we're gonna think this. We had that area covered, so let's move it here. We need this area covered. Which is going to be what this one. We need to move this one over. That area covered. We are missing this spot, this spot. Let's move these other two spots up over on top up here. This one would be up here. Move this one to be over here. Okay, so the first four was this spot, this spot, this spot, this spot. Is that right? One, two, two, four. Right, we have that all covered. So now I'm covering this area right here. Good. We'll run that process. And actually, I want to copy his brain. Oops. Hey, come back over here. Come, stop for a second. Come back over to me. Yeah, come over to me, bud. I want to copy your brain. <laughs> I want to copy your brain. Copy your brain. All right, that data should now say 14, right? Yes. Good. Go. Be productive. All right, everybody's charged and running. Everybody's charged and running. Uh, we have love being produced. Love. We now have seeds being produced. We have tools. We're going to need more axes. Let's get a couple axes built. Oh, do we have... Oh, nope. Those bots are down. Hold on. Get one more axe built. Or two more axes built. Have you ever thought about delivery bots? Like one bot that delivers poles to whatever that needs poles in the area? Yeah, I have some actually doing that and you can see them over here. So, I have one bot picking up logs and delivering it into this unit. Another bot taking the logs and delivering it over to the chopping block to make planks. Uh, and then, so, you know, I've got several guys doing that. It's, um, uh, from what I can see of this game so far is that the management of the bots will get to a point where you d you don't need to manage them anymore. It eventually will take care of itself. So you just have to get to the point where you've got them upgraded completely. So in the case of... I just went from bot basic bot to Mark 1 bots. I'm going to have to go through this process again when I go from Mark 1 to Mark 2 bots. But there's only Mark 2 bots. That's the max number of bots is Mark 2. So once you get totally up to Mark 2 and they're doing their jobs, you don't ever have to worry about them ever again. You're going to decommission some along the way because the basic bots are... Uh, you just, you know, you don't deal with them, right? You, you don't deal with them anymore. So I'm de decommissioning. I have basic bot parts. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with them. Unless somewhere down the road there's some sort of recycling unit that I could throw away some of these items. I would like to be able to, you know, get some items back. It doesn't have to be a full one-for-one -one return. But it'd be nice to be able to get half of my items back that I've invested into a bot. Especially some of these higher bots where you're talking about two acorns. It'd be nice to get one acorn back, you know. Xbox, I'm not too sure if it's on Xbox. Though the company are big kind of like, you know, console and phone game manufacturers. Well, I won't say big, but they've done a lot. 
They've done a lot. Okay, I need one more upgraded recharge bot. And then I will actually have two leftover bots, which I can either decommission, which I don't, I, you know, I don't know. There's a, there's an area. So if you stop it, there is a, there's a garbage can. Garbage cans for the programs, but they have something that says, um, what do they have? Drop everything to me. Please stop. I can bot trade. Which I don't know what that does. Right? I don't know if you could toss a bot. I think you just have to wind up decommissioning as parts or something. I don't know. I haven't gotten so far into the game yet that I know, you know, what's 20 hours down the road. All right, those three bots are doing their thing. I need this bot, 17, to actually come over to me. Come over here and have him come over to me. We're going to work on upgrading this particular bot. So let's see. Head going. Wanted a pole. Oops, didn't I get a pole? I did. Hey, don't get another pole. Oh, I needed a plank. Dang it. Can't confirm it's not on Xbox or Microsoft. Yeah, I, I don't know what their their future plans are. If they're going to put it on Xbox or Microsoft, or <laughs> Xbox or any other platform. Um, they might very well, like I said. And they might be probably like mobile is probably a better bet, but. You know, if you like this type of management game, you know, it's like any other management game. It's, it's like city builder games or or any other type of management game where you're having to deal with stuff you know this is managing robots it's it is kind of interesting it does get a little bit confusing when you've got a ton of these little bots laying around but i can see how that is going to change i can see that you know eventually you're going to wind up decommissioning bots somehow don't know how but you're going to get to where they have enough memory that you're going to reduce the, the your production line right my wood production line can probably reduce be reduced down to uh a couple less bots i'm thinking one or two maybe and there's all kinds of upgrades that you can give the bots so each bot has i believe three or four upgrade slots so we could, with these bots that were are now our recharger bots, um, we could give them, yeah, a locomotion upgrade, which will help them move faster. Am I still doing Astroneer? Yep, yeah. still doing Astroneer. I'm just looking at other games. You know, it's good to, to check out what else is around. I'm not going to be limiting myself to Astroneer, but I'm I'm not going to be giving up on Astroneer, not anytime soon. Uh, probably for a very, very long time, I'll be doing Astroneer. Until, well, until Astroneer decides that they don't want to do their game anymore, right? Okay, so let me give this guy a memory upgrade. Or did I already do that? Did I already give him a memory upgrade? Let's look at this bot really fast. Was it 17? Mm -mm 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 -mm. 17 bot doesn't have anything oh they can only have two uh maybe that's the deal when you go from mark two to mark three is that they get more have i seen universe M? yeah i actually have universe M. uh i haven't played it since like early alpha though i know that they've come out with a lot of stuff are there still an early access right Uh, that's how you found me? You're thinking about getting a gaming laptop? Cool. You're back with the last of Astroneer. 
one last midnight. Here back with the last of Ashton here. Uh, don't get you. I don't know. What what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say, man? What are you trying to say, foo? Two poles. Now, I'm a little concerned. I did give that guy an upgrade before he had enough memory. So I wonder if that worked. I, I might have to do it again. Two tree. <laughs> year uh, 2060. It's going to be interesting to see what System Era does. I, you know they're going to start eventually start working on another game. It, that's that's just a given. They've, they've got to. All right, I think I have this guy correct. Let's let's look at his code. I think, uh, yeah, his radius looks good. Everything looks good. He's done. So now I have reduced my entire recharging production line down to four instead of six. So down by two. Now the question is what to do with the bots. And there is like some sort of bot home. What is it? I don't know if that's where you retire your bots. The robotic technology. And in here is bot storage. So I think eventually I just stick them in a storage. Right? So once that gets researched, we're going to find out what the, the bot storage is all about. I, hopefully I can put more than one bot in there. You know? Sticky ground problems on Glacio and Aatrox. I think that that is uh, something that's been reported. I saw it the other day when I was uh, when I was actually doing the alternate starts. I saw it. Okay, how are we doing for food? We're down one berry. These guys are getting fed. People are doing their stuff. Let's go and try to fix something else, right? So that was one part of the production line that I wanted to get resolved. And I got it resolved. Actually, I, I want to move 20... Let's move 20 and uh, 22 over here. So why don't you guys come to me? Good. 20 and 22. We're just going to park them from here for now. Do I play Minecraft? I've been trying to get back into Minecraft. I've been doing RL Craft. I, I haven't done enough of it. I need to go back and spend some time with... Um, Minecraft. You know, some of the mods are pretty cool. It's the pro I have well, the biggest problem I have with games are the ones that take, you know, hours and hours and hours to do things. Like, I'm 53 minutes into this and I, I pr programmed four bots, right? So, you know, when you talk about that level of dedication to a game, uh,. Yeah, I can't spend all my time on that type of stuff. I would love to, but I don't think that I can. Let's upgrade and move this bot around. I think I want him to be a tool bot. And so let's answer the question, can I rename the bots? Uh, yep, I can rename the bots. It does allow for renaming of the bots. All right. I, you know what I want is a tool bot. So I never have to worry about tools ever again. Let's get a tool bot going. I'm going to have this guy be my new tool bot. Let's get him. Let's get him a brain and all that. Let's, let's get him a new fancy get up. Get him a seed. Get him a plank. You know, the feeling just got Call of Duty Warfare complete. And you complete. Is that completed just an hour ago? Yeah, well, it's tough. 
It, it is tough to try to pick a game that you really like to invest time into. I think that's one of the biggest draws for me for Astroneer is that it's very, it was very easy to get into and very easy to kind of finish out. Easy in the sense that it doesn't take, you know, a um, hundred hours to, to get your thing up and running. It could, but it, but it didn't. And so that was very appealing to me. If in two hour stream, you could do a lot. You can get a lot accomplished in a two hour stream. Whereas here, two-hour stream is re reprogramming just a handful of bots. It's not that it's not fun. It's a different type of thinking, and I, I like it. I like this kind of thinking. I'm good with this kind of thinking. Okay. We have a new bot. We're going to reprogram 22. So 22... Gonna take his parts, do our deal with it. And I'm gonna make this the tool guy. I, I've never done the tool programming, so we're gonna find out how that works. It's going to be interesting to say the least. So let's give him a memory upgrade. I don't think I need to have a search upgrade, but I definitely need to have a memory upgrade. So let's give him a memory upgrade. We're gonna need two seeds. It's unfortunate I can only give the robots two upgrades because I would like to have a speed upgrade on one of them. Uh, what else do you need? Two poles. What should we name the bots? Let's see. Twenty-one gun silver games that are good, but most likely won't return. Channel rule: only people who have not died in XCon can be named as bots. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not gonna quite work, right, Commander Coco? What's going on? <laughs> Tim the tool guy, more power. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right, let's give him a bigger brain. Let's see if we can try to figure out the programming for this bot. So what I want him to do, we're going to delete his code. What I want him to do is... So it's gonna. he's going to need to take a stone... Add a stone. Take a stick. No, this is not smart. This is not smart. Hold on. Let's rethink this. If not smart, we're not being smart. No, we're not. Mm -mm. What I want to do is I want to grab... I've got three things that take stone and stick. So what I want to do is I want to grab a stone. Move to crate, grab a stone. And I want to say do that until my hands are full. Then I want to say... Get rid of this, 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 and this. Drop off a stone here. Drop off a stone here. And drop off a stone here. Then I want to say... Grab a stick. Until my hands are full. But am I going to have enough memory for this? I move to workbench. 
One. Oh god, I'm not gonna have enough memory for this. Move the workbench two. Move the workbench three. Okay, can I loop this whole thing? <gasps> I can! Woohoo! Okay, tool hands are full, do do do. Tool hands are full, do do do. It's going to make that. And I want to do that until what? I want to do that until... Oh, wow. I don't know. I don't know. Let's run this, though. Hey, how high will he stack tools? Okay, we got three stones. So, one, two, three. He's going to get him some sticks. Oh, wait. There's a problem here. Uh, we can't do it till hands are full. We need to do three times. We need to do till three times. Oops. Okay. And we also need to do this one till three times. I didn't realize he can hold four. This guy can now hold four. And give me that rock back. Yep. Okay. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. I have to finish off his tools. We have to get back into zero position here. Okay, now you can run. All right, one, two, three, good. The question is how, how, how many times can he make a tool? He's got three sticks. Do, 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 do. All right, we're going to watch this guy. It's going to be interesting to see how many tools he makes. I mean, this guy might go insane, right? He might make 100 tools. I have no idea how many tools he's going to make. I didn't give him an end limit. But I think eventually this becomes full. There is a condition that says it becomes full. So here's a great example of it becomes full. Yeah, it's cool until we have like 85,000 tools. How much does this game cost? Uh, you're going to have to look that up. I don't know. I don't think it's very expensive. So this guy's going to be... Uh, we're going to name him something different. Let's make a new... Let's call this tools. And let's put... What was it? It was 22, right? Let's put 22 in the tool department. Well, this guy's rocking out. I'm, I'm never going to need that many tools. <laughs> I probably only really want him to do one, right? How is that going to work? Because everybody uses the tools differently like my pick doesn't get used as much as the axe the axe doesn't get used as much as the shovel does so how does that work out 
I bet you if you wait till the Christmas sale, it'll be half price. Turn them on when I need tools? I mean, yeah, I can shut them off. It's probably a good idea just to shut them off. I'm just kind of curious. There's got to be some sort of upper limit. I thought it was going to be five, but maybe it's more than five. Let, let him go one more time. What he's got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got seven going right now. I think eventually he's going to stop doing something. All right, well, you know what? Let me turn him off because he's kind of insane. All right, we'll leave him right there. We'll turn him back on when we need him. I, I think we're <laughs> I think we're kind of good for now. Uh, in the meantime, let me let me just hand make these flails. Okay, four just lost his charge. But here comes Mighty Eight. Eight's coming in to charge up four. Ding! So there it is. There was it in production, right? Now four will keep going, and when eight runs out of power, eight will get charged up by four. Good. Um, all right, that works out well. These guys are. Let's let's work on getting our guys up to level two. So let's pick up a colonist. And let's drop him off. Okay, my colonist has evolved to level two. Right, they're gonna have new needs, which is a shelter, and I've given them the shelter, which is no big deal, but the shelter has some needs too. So the shelter requires food, and I believe it also requires logs when it's out. Now, the deal is this. Um, they can't eat level one food. They can only eat level two food. So I'm going to have to start making level two food. And let's get that production going. We're going to need a couple people to do a couple things. We are going to need um, somebody digging up and replanting the weeds. Okay, so let's set this to what I want it to be. I want this to be uh, spice berries. Okay, so it's going to need four berries and one loose weed. So let's recommission. I have this guy on berries. I'm going to need a, let's make a food. Food production. And do, 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 do. where'd my food production go? Uh, oh, I didn't rename that. Maybe it was too big. What did you do uh, food V2? You're going to do that? Can you take that? You can take food V2. Good. All right. We'll do food V2. And we're going to take good old trusty number 20. We're going to clear his program. And what I want him to do is go get a shovel. And we're going to say until hands are full. Hands are full? Yeah, until hands are full. Uh, we're going to say that there. And we'll give him a loop over here. And we'll say until hands are empty. I want you to go dig this. Move over to weeds in a particular radius. And dig it up. Okay. So we're gonna do we're gonna do that until my hands are empty. So he's gonna dig weeds forever. That's all he's gonna do, and I want him to do that in this area right here. We're gonna expand this out just one piece. 
Good. That that's gonna be your area. And Okay, good. Your hands are empty. We're gonna wrap this in a forever loop. That's all he's going to do. He's gonna be a digger bot. Done. Use done, sir. All right, I need another guy. Let's build another bot. I need another guy. Uh, food is for the people in the tent houses? Yes. Right now we're feeding them berries. Or we were feeding them berries. They're no longer getting berries anymore. So my entire research production, which is love, is uh, no longer being produced. So we need to fix that. So he's going to dig away. Let me drop off my shovel. I actually have two shovels. Don't need two. Drop that off. Don't need that one. Okay. Uh, make another robot. I want to make a head. Do eventually you can have these guys making robots. It's a whole it's just production lines, right? It's a whole nother production line. Make a head. Body. And okay. And we're gonna make a uh, drive bot. There's one, one, and one. I also want this guy to be smart. So let's give him a better brain. Just two and two, right? Yep. Just curious. Is it your little pink haired character able to do any of the work without bots? Yeah, he can do it all. He can do it all. But I mean, think about what you're asking here. That's a lot of work that this guy's got to do. I mean, he can do everything, but it would be almost impossible for him to do everything. Okay, we've got this guy upgraded. So I want this guy... We're going to try to figure out what it... We're going to try to figure out what to do with this guy. I, I want this guy to... Pick up the loose weeds. Uh, until his hands are full. Once his hands are full, then I want him to drop the loose weeds in here. So we're going to do that until his hands are empty. And I think that's all I want him to do. I mean, I gave him a bigger brain, but to be honest, I just want him to pick this stuff up. The way you have to do this is somebody has to dig it. Somebody has to pick it up and somebody has to plant it. So go, you go do that. Let's get another bot. I pro he probably didn't need the memory upgrade to think about it. Thinking about it now, he didn't need it. He could be dumb. <laughs> they call me Dr. Boov. He could have been dumb. I don't think he needed that much memory. Could have saved a little bit on memory. <laughs> Walking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's too much. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> did you guys see that uh, Markiplier did an interview on um, a late night show? Was it Seth? Somebody, I don't remember his last name. Was it Seth? I don't I don't remember who he did it with. But he just did a, a, a late night show talking about how he got in the business and what he was doing before YouTube and Yeah, I think the interview was done with last night. Last night or the night before. All right, let's get this guy charged up. This guy is going to be my planter. So what I want him to do is I want him to come to the box. And I want him to grab... Weeds out of the box until his hands are full. And then I want him to go plant in the soil uh, until his hands are empty. And I want you to repeat that. And I want to change the radius of the soil. The... Well, you're only planting in here. And this is the only soil I want you to work in, so work right there. Go. All right. So let me see if I have this right. Where is, uh, close the rechargers down. Where's my food level two? Oh, wait, wait, on the rechargers I changed, yeah, I changed 20. So 20 is food V2. Uh, I really actually should not change this to food V2. This should be weed production. I'll just call this weeds. That's weeds production. So that'll be this and this. And I put a guy in food, right? Let's get him out of food V2. Oops. And put him down into weeds. Okay, good. Uh, now food V2. So I have somebody storing weeds. I have somebody storing berries. I want to make food. And so let's do that. So these are getting planted, right? It's a little wonky how this this weed production work but it's better than mushrooms mushrooms suck uh doing mushrooms is not it's it's really not a good food production line because you have to dig up the mushroom then replant the mushroom and replanting the mushroom is you have to dig a hole so once you plant the mushroom it grows up and you and you remove it you lose the hole and you have to redig the hole so Crazy. You forgot that guy existed? Him and uh, Jack Septic Eye in the last year and a half uh, really took off. They're both now at something. I think Markiplier's at what? 20 something? 30 something million? And uh, Jack is at uh, 25 million. They, they took off. They exploded. Okay, those are working, that's getting done. What was I doing? Oh yes, food production. Food production. We need another guy. I, we're actually gonna need two guys. So how do we want this to work? Okay, I think I got it. I, I think I figured it out. Uh, let's make a, another bot. Uh, somebody's, hold on, somebody's not working here. Yeah, my logs are going down. And I'm not using that many logs. So somebody's not doing their job. Planks and poles. No, chopping block is full. You're fine. Is it forest? Forestry. Yeah, what's your problem here, eh? Find nearest log in area, pick up log. What's, do you have like a log in your hand or something? What's going on here? 
Give me your log. Oh, uh, do I have something in my hand? No. Yeah, give me your log, man. Okay, get back to work. Move the log, pick up log, move to storage. Yeah, wait, why'd you get weirded out? Don't weird out on me. Not cool. Go do your thing. Alright, clank and pull. Demanding more of a bot on strike? Can't be. No bots on strike. Not allowed. Two and one. One. Get this going. And the head is a seat in a plank. No love, no work. <laughs> love, true love. Why ah? He said true love. Barely he said to blade. <laughs> Which oh, I didn't love that movie. Marriage. <laughs> I showed my boys that movie for the first time. They totally got into it. I didn't think they'd get into it. I tried to show it to them when they were younger, like six. They were like, no, nah, not interested in it. But I showed it to them when they were like, you know, 10. They're like, yeah, this is cool. This is cool. All right, this guy. Hey, move over. You are going to make food. So you need to get four berries. Oops, dang it. Okay, are we recording? Record. Come grab a berry. Move to storage. We're gonna do this four times. Four. Chink. And we're gonna drop that off into the pot. Four times. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, good. And then we're gonna come over to the berry. Move to berry storage, pick up a berry. Oh, dang it. Did I say? No, berry storage in the crude pot. Come over here and pick up a weed, thank you. And we're gonna do this well, it's once, right? Yes, it's just once. And then move it over to the mixing pot. And we're only gonna do this. But well, we don't even need to repeat this. So four times, four times repeat. So Move to berry storage, pick it up four times, four times, add the crude pot, pick it up, go to the storage, put it back, make it. Okay, that's it. It's done. Go do your job. Uh, this, I want to empty this out. Oh, this is full. Ouch. Whoa, wait a minute. Bot stupid. Oh, he had a berry in his hand. Dang it! Get back over here, dodo head. Stop. Give me your berry. Thank you. Give me your dumb berry. Okay, now start your process. Four, four, and one. Good. Go. Two, three, four. Good. Smart boy. Oh, dang it. My berry thing was... Stop. Give me your berries again. Do you have anything else? No. Can I pick you up? Get over here. Sit down right there. Pay attention.
Give me a weed. I'll make this. Okay. Oh wait, actually, I want to. I want to keep this. This. Uh, oh, I can't put it back. All right. Um. Now, can I turn you back? Oh, dang it! I didn't want to pick you up. Can I turn you back on? This is empty, right? Yes. You're empty. Yes. Good. Go make food. Go. All right. I need another bot. Ed. Need. Blank. Thanks for the Ashenir videos. They're helpful. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching. I'm glad you got something out of it. I'll be making more soon. I hate to go back and do everything all over again, but I probably will. I'll probably come back and just do a one because everything's been up so updated, but I think ultimately not a lot has changed, but some things have. Really, the only thing that's changed is the way that I do things. I, I think that's changed because there's now, you know, more stuff. How about an Ashenir live stream? Yeah, I'm going to do one this week. Actually, I'm going to do two this week. Um, I was planning for Wednesday and Thursday to do a some sort of creative idea. Some creative concept. Multiplayer? Yeah, for sure. Any plans to show the exhibition build? Yes. It's uh it's like ten hours of video though. So I'm I'm working on trying to cut it up into something that's I don't know. Understandable. Instead of having just people fly around at mock speed. Oh shoot, we messed up. What happened? Wait a minute. What happened? What happened? Oh. Take weed from loose. Move to weeds. Take weed. Yeah, he did. Why didn't he move to the mixing pot, though? What was wrong with that? Oh, he didn't drop off the berries. Why didn't he drop off the berry? Okay, let's go with to hands are full, to hands are empty, because he can hold four. Move, pick up, and add to crude mixing pot. That should have worked. Let's stop this. Hold on. Let's call him over to me. Give me your berries again. Dang it! How many's in the mixing pot? Let's let's make this food really fast. All right, we need to watch him. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go over and get the weed. One. Drop it in. Make it. Yes. Yes. Do it again. We're going to watch you. I'd like to see some astroneer racing with you. Sky cam again. Rover race would be wild. Oh, uh, it'd be kind of cool with the sky cam now that we have a flying ability. That would be cool. All right, this guy's doing what he's supposed to be doing. I'm not going to pay attention to him anymore. Why is the weed production getting all backed up? What's what's the problem here? I should really have a lot more weeds. 
This guy... Yeah, man, you should be... There's tons of weeds over here you can pick up. I guess he's a little behind on production. I think we're going to need to increase his speed. Okay, we got to get this other guy going. That guy right there. So I want you to pick up from here. Very simple job. You're going to pick up from here until your hands are full. And you're going to drop off in here until your hands are empty. And then repeat that forever. Go. Okay, now we have to fix this guy. Uh, okay, so these guys are... Where are you? This forester is out of an axe. Are we out of axes? No. Oh, he's getting charged. Okay. Uh, food 2.0. These guys are food 2.0. Food 2.0. Food 2.0. Good. And let's see. Colonists. I have this guy serving berries. But we need to change his brain. So he's no longer getting berries from berry storage. What he's going to be doing... Is he's going to come over here. Uh, you don't want to wait. No. Hold on, let's do this again. Take from berry storage. You're going to do that until your hands are full. A spice berry storage. And then you're going to take that spice berry. And you're going to feed it to hungry colonists in that area. Until your hands are empty. I'm going to do that forever. And let me just change the radius of this a little bit. Because this will probably grow. And go for it. Okay. He's done. Alright, so now we're feeding the colonists the appropriate thing. Now they're producing 10 love. Or wove. Instead of 1 wove. <laughs> now, we have another guy here. Which is this guy. The wove collector. And we need to stop him. And we need to delete his code. Because it is wrong. And what he's going to do... Is he's going to pick up the level 10 WUV. And then he's going to do that until his hands are full. And then he's going to come over here and drop it off in here. And he's going to do that until his hands are empty. And then you're going to do that forever. Go. All right. He's fixed. Everybody's fixed. Level two food production's happening. Uh, level two love is happening. Oh wait. Eventually, these guys are going to need. Yeah, they're gonna need uh, one more bot to move logs over into that area. But let's worry about that in a second. Let's create uh, some more housing for them. Get colonists. Let's get uh, another house here. Ooh, that's off. There we go. And let's get another row of colonists here. Okay. And actually, we'll do 10. Okay, so we'll have 10 colonists. It's going to take a lot to get this built up. I should be able to... Let me get an extra bot and see if he can do the job of filling these up. I haven't tried to fill those up yet, but let's see if we can do that. Let's get a bot working. Love for sale. Blank. Oh. Let's get the head built. Oops, not a stick. There you go. Blank.
Oh, this guy's out of shovels. So, man, my shovels are so fast here. Let's turn the tool guy back on. Good work, bud! Shovels go so fast. See, this is where I need like one guy just building shovels. I don't need all of these pickaxes. We're gonna have to rethink this logic because some tools are more important, right? What was it doing? Uh, built the head already. Uh, I need to build the body. Yes. Oh wait. A pole. Yeah, I'm not too sure to do. I'm not too sure what to do with that. I, clearly, I'm using way more, way, way more shovels. Is there a way to? Ch hold on. Is there a way to check? Hold on, the tool guy. Hey, stop doing what you're doing. God, he's got one K free though. Oh. oh, instead of having a bot make all three tools, have a bot for every single one? Yeah, I know. I know. And store it in the box until they're full. I know, and have them get out of the box. I know. I know, but I don't want boxes everywhere. I did not want boxes everywhere. What I could do is this. Uh, Hold on, what was I doing? For the logs. Oh, I was doing something for the logs. Uh, hold on. Something's not quite right. Why are you not doing what you're supposed to be doing? Oh, because he has... Hold on. We gotta fix this problem. We have to fix this problem or my love will go away. Honest, this guy... Stop. He's got a level one love in his hand. Is that level one? Yeah, it's a level one. So we need to get rid of it. Now go. Okay, there he goes. All right, perfect. Let me go drop this off. Let's go back to the tool guy really fast here. Yeah, clearly I don't want him doing that. I don't want him doing that at all. So, okay, let's scrap his code. So let's see here. Let's see if I can. Let's take a stick. Or stone, actually. Is there a stone in there? There's a stone in there, right? I got. Take a stone, move to the workbench. Oh, uh, yeah, shoot. Get rid of it. Let's take a stone, move to the workbench, take a stick, move to the workbench. He's going to build it. Let's do that until. This particular storage facility is full. We're gonna call him Spade, and we're gonna have him run. Now he's not gonna do anything. He's gonna stay there. He's gonna stand there, and he's going to wait until somebody takes the shovel. Once somebody takes the shovel, then he'll turn around and build a new shovel. So let's just watch that process. Let's just, just wait for him to do that. Okay, this is going now. It's actually going. Uh, where's my bot? Let's assemble my bot.
So here's a guy coming. Is he going to take the shovel? No. Somebody's going to come take the shovel soon because <laughs> we run out of shovels pretty fast. Uh, okay, so that bot's made. Let's, uh, I want a, a drivetrain. Yeah, some speed. We're going to need uh, crude gears and a pole. So let's flip this over to... Oh, wait. Nobody's getting berries. Hold on. Two, three, four. You're singing bingo if that helps? Totally. How'd you know that was going to help? All right, we have enough flails. Excellent. All right, I don't have to worry about that production for a while. Uh, we're gonna take this and we're gonna make a, what, we needed a wheel? Or we needed a gear? Dang it! A gear. Uh, we're gonna need four gears, so that's four planks. Is he getting a shovel? No, he got an axe. I can only hold two gears? Get out of here. Come on, man. Why can't I hold four gears? No, four of everything else. Four gears and a what? A pole? Okay, this guy's got a speed upgrade. Bingo. He's faster. All right, there's a guy who grabbed a shovel. All right, this guy should be... Hey, man, there's no shovel in there. Dang it. There we go. Now he said, hey, man, there's no shovel in there. Good. He's going to make a shovel. He's going to chillax. Okay, I can have one bot for every single one of these tool benches. Oh, man. That's kind of crazy, though, right? All right. This is going to be my... Uh, do I need him to do anything else? Do I need to have him... Efficiency for energy. Can hold more. And it's end... Okay, we'll hold more in his hand. Uh, uh, he lasts longer. Well, all right. Well, I haven't decided what I want to do with him yet. But first of all, I want him to pick up a log. Pick up a log. And I want you to drop it into the blueprint. Aha! I can look for an area. Nice! Nice! Okay, yeah, hey, take all logs and do that forever, bud. Until they're done, okay? Uh, what's wrong with your code? Why are you not taking anything from log storage? Uh, that's kind of dumb. Until not full?
No, that's not going to work. How many does it need? Like three? That's interesting. So I can't use him to put this on here. What if I do this? Nope. That's kind of interesting. How do you get them to... Oh, did I miss add the blueprint? I miss add the blueprint. That's what I did. I miss add the blueprint. Okay, there you go. Off you go, buddy. There you go. Good job, bot boy. Good job, makey makey. Eggs and bakey. Alright, let's go make some more colonists. Because I'm in the mood to make some colonists, baby. Uh, make a little baby. Uh uh uh. Make a colonist baby. Uh uh uh. Make a baby in a little egg. Alright. Put that in there. I need to feed it. Feed me Seymour. Let's get some of these guys. Itty bitty bot boy. Good job. Good job, buddy. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, pick that up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Number numbers. Number numbers. Good job. We made a colonist. Baby colonist. Yay. Put him down in the new habitat. Enjoy your new habitat. Yep. Good. He's going to feed him because he's in the radius. Oh, I like how things... Yeah. See, they're going to need logs too. Okay. Well, we'll change the code. Don't you worry. Once all these get built, we'll change that code. We need to make a new colonist. Make a new baby boy. Baby boy, baby boy, make a colonist, baby boy. I have 30 food, wow. I won't for long, not with all these colonists. They're going to eat it up. You got the last bingo in the game? Way to go. Um, we're having a serious problem with my weed production. Here. We need to we need to look at what's going on over there with the weed production. Because it ain't working. The uh, put a baby bull ear. Okay. We're gonna get another one. Get another one. Uh oh, it's raining. No, it's raining and all my colonists are getting wet. Berry production looks okay. Oops, wait, don't go do that. Fill up first. Okay, good, go over here. New baby. Uh, why didn't it make a new baby? Oh, where's the seed? Did I move the seed? Where's the baby? Did the baby die?
Oh, there's a seed in there already, right? Uh, what's what's wrong? Weird. Weird, I have no idea what happened. Something happened, it wasn't my fault. I didn't do it! I swear! Ugh. Alright, baby's in there. Uh, we need to change the code for that guy. We need to pick up the poop. So many things to do! Don't drop the baby! Don't kick the baby! All right, weed production. Look at my weeds are all backed up. What is going on with the weed production guy? Uh, all right, let's fix this bot. We don't need him to do this anymore. Clear this out. Goodbye. Goodbye and forever. Uh, can I beat him? I did. Ha 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 ha. I don't want you to do that. I want you to take from storage. And I want you to add to the crude hut in that area. You can actually move. Don't move there. Uh, do this forever. And let's adjust this area. Yep. Good. Done. Done. Okay. Good. He'll fix up the huts. That's what we want him to do. Babies will get fed. Everybody will be happy. Joy, joy. Happy, happy forever. Let's fix our weed guy because I don't understand what our weed guy is doing. Oh, his radius has moved. Ah, uh, yeah, well, that won't work. No wonder you're getting backed up over here, sir. Thank you. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Your hands are already full. Go. Put the weeds down. I should probably help him out for a second. He's kind of dumb. Dumb bot. Okay, we'll zip him over. Okay, get some more weeds stored. You don't understand. It's like stopping this whole weed production chain here. And weeds laying around everywhere. He's not storing weeds, and then yeah, my weed guy's not my weed guy's not delivering. Oh god, my weed guy stopped delivering. It's so bad. All right. All right, I think we're caught up. Are we caught up? We're pretty caught up. Sorry, but I'm taking your weeds. All right, good. He's caught up. We have we have everybody doing what they're supposed to be doing. We have love being produced in large quantities now. Good. Look at that. Look at that love going. Everybody else seems to be doing their jam. We have level two uh, food production happening. Which is great. Our toolbot did his thing. Why is this guy searching? Who is that guy? What number are you? Find near stone and deposits. Uh, until hands are empty. Oh, is that you? You trying to drop off a rock? No, you're the tool guy. Oh, uh, what's his problem exactly? There's stone right there. What is your problem? Oh, there's no empty stone. This is all full. Okay, wait. He'll go back to work. 
He was in the bits of picking up an axe uh, and got totally messed up. Okay, I could in turn... Can I copy the spade code? Yeah, unfortunately you can't change uh, the, the bench number. Like this crude workbench? Not gonna work. You'd have to make a new bot to do its deal. You can see this game get game scaling up and maybe using logic functions. Pretty cool concept. It, it's actually a really neat concept. It's a lot of management though, right? I mean, lots and lots of management. Like, why is 19 not doing his thing anymore? Why did he get confused? Uh, he's part of the colonist pool, right? Oh, he was waiting for something? So let me check his radius. His radius might be off. Yep, his radius is off. Okay. Now he's done. Go. So we got that fixed. These guys are all working diligently. Weeds are getting stored. Food is getting built. Berries are getting buried. Uh, while berries are getting buried, hold on. While I have extra berries, this is important. We need to do this now. Oh God, shoot. I need a shovel. Hey, make a shovel, eh? Spade? Make a spade, spade. Thank you. I need that. It's mine. We need to do a little bit of digging. It's now and forever. This is the suck part. Some berry love in this game. Big giant purple berry love. Mmm. Gotta have some. We need to expand the berry production because when there are so many mouths to feed, this is not cutting it. And our guys that are uh, beating the berry bushes, we need to upgrade their robots to be the uh, Mark II robots so that they can start working more efficiently. Same with the carry bots that's in there. This is kind of tedious. I could set a robot to dig, but there is actually a problem in the code with digging. The way that it digs is not correct. And I think they're trying to figure out how to fix the problem. It doesn't dig every single hole like I've dug. It digs like in a pattern and it's not very efficient. You do eventually get to, right now I'm using stone tools, you do get to uh, steel production. All right, we've uh, unlocked a lot of stuff. Bot level two production is now, Mark two is on the money. Let's move our technology over. I am gonna need a floor. I can't make the bot two because the machine that is required to make the bot two requires you to have a floor on it. So we need to start making the flooring. So we need a stick and we need to go do some power technology. So let's go get ourselves a stick. Better bots for everyone. Woo! Oops, I gotta store this. Get a stick, come over here. Uh, drop my uh, stick off. All right, good. Get that going. We're gonna need to start storing our wolf. Otherwise, it's going to disappear. As love does. <laughs> Isn't that funny? All right, we're moving on. Joke over. We can upgrade this unit, but what it takes to upgrade this unit is uh, panels and squares. And so I don't, I don't even have those yet. It's a whole nother production chain.
Let's go. Let's let's plant this flooring because it's starting to bother me. Hey, nice and neat. Look at that. Look at all that. Love. This is gonna go pretty fast. It's gonna start going pretty fast. Uh, I am gonna need somebody for axe production very, very soon. God, there's so many things to do. Uh, what, what did I say I was gonna do? I was digging holes. I don't have time to dig holes. I gotta get another bot going. Time for a bot. Get ahead. second love carrier I do I absolutely do I need a faster one this guy's slow I should probably upgrade you know what let me upgrade him first uh yeah let me upgrade him first get a body thanks And I'll give him a I'll give him a speed locomotion upgrade too. The drive is what to pull plank one of each. Give him a uh, locomotion upgrade, which is four gears, so that's four planks. And we we'll get the gears built. But we can coach on dig holes. It'd be cool if you could have this as multiplayer. You really need to have like an extra, at least one person, because there's a lot to manage for a single person. Could you imagine? That would be pretty cool, right? Dang it, what did I put those there for? I need a pole. All right, give this guy a locomotion upgrade. And, uh... What, a, what other kind of upgrade should we give him? So we gave him faster feet. Uh, I wonder if we can give him double faster feet, if that would work. Probably not. I, he doesn't need more memory. We could. He can store more. Why don't we give him a backpack upgrade? See, I don't understand... Um, can hold more in its end effector, its hand. So should I be giving him something he can stick in his hand? Or should I be giving him... Um... Well, okay, let's try the hand. The hand was what? Two more gears. Two more gears and what, a pole? A stick. Oh, it's a pole. Why, why did it say stick? Not a stick, it's a pole.
Okay. Let me grab this stick make another axe really fast. Alright, let's copy, uh, let's copy this guy's code. Hey okay, bud, I want you over here for a second. Yeah, hold on. I need this little thing. Move you over here. And I need to stop this guy. And copy his code. Control left click. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Pick that up. Control left click. And control right click. Okay, good. Uh, go, bud. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, he gets an extra one. That's what he gets. Oh, dang it. This guy needs to turn back on. I've got to upgrade this other guy. All right, we're going to be doing research like a madman now. What's our next bit of research we want to try to accomplish? Uh, flooring? I'll need a thing of sand. Which means I'd have to get a bucket. How about wooden flooring? I could do a plank. Wooden flooring? Let's do wooden flooring. We've got a plank. Just put our plank right here. All right, what, what do we want to focus on? Uh, another robot for... Guess what we're going to focus on right now is getting this back up and running. Uh, let's get a plank down. Okay, good. Alright, they're busy. They're going to get to work. Guy's going to get charged. I could dig some holes. Kind of looks like Satisfactory. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if Satisfactory has this much management, but maybe it does. I mean, I wish I could make the tool guy more efficient, but I don't see how I can. His... Uh... Maybe he can do one more tool. Let's get him to try to do... Can I copy this? They need to have a way to copy block the code. They really do. Okay, how about, how about... He's got 10k free. How about we see if we can get him also to do the axe the same way. So grab one, drop one, grab one, drop one, build the axe. Let's put this in a loop uh, until this workbench is full. Yeah, he's got 1k free. Okay. Uh, go. 
Let's see for giggles. Take that X, put it down here. Take that X, put it down here. And let's watch his code. He's going to build a shovel. Oh, we need a fail safe, don't we? Don't we need a failover? I think we need a failover. Let's take this shovel. No, well, it works. Totally works. All right, well, we having we're having him build two things. That's all his brain can handle. All right, that works out well. That works out very well. So let's go back to digging really fast. Get this berry production line back up and running. Oh yeah, we totally cleared out all the wove. All the wove is totally cleared. Wove. We're on top of the wove. We're probably so on top of it with the new bot that we don't need the second bot anymore. Which al almost leads me to believe that we're going to need uh, more colonists. Yeah, I think we're going to need more colonists. We'll finish these berry bush plantation. Probably going to need to, you know, increase the robots for the berry bushes. We're going to need to make them super speedy because they're not right now. They slew. So if we upgrade those two to have a better drive unit, I mean, create new bots out of them and then have a better drive unit, it, it should be good. I, I think they'll be able to clear this entire area of berries. That's what I'm speculating anyways. All right, how many berries do I have? None. I'm out of berries. Ouch. Yeah. I uh, knew that was going to be a problem. Let me grab a flail. And... Let's beat on a berry bush. So I found out I was playing another save that I have for this game just to kind of test out some things. And in that save, there are birds that fly around and eat the berries. <laughs> Luckily, I, I'm not, I don't have that situation here, but it was incredibly frustrating because you would get, you know, your berry production going. And I think at that time I was like just basic bot. I was like seriously level one bot and uh, every time I get a pile of berries going these birds would fly over eat the berries before the bot could get there so very very troublesome and I tried to cut down the trees because they would fly to a tree around the berry bush and uh, it, that didn't work do you get points for purchasing in the store? No, I need to figure out how to do that. The points, the reason why people have, some people have a lot of points as opposed to others 
is because those people have donated during a live stream. And that point is uh, pretty significant. I'm going to try to figure out this coming year. I'm going to try to figure out what to do with those points. So those points will have some value coming soon. More than likely, it's going to be you can trade in points for merch. If that's something that's interesting to you guys, points for merch. Yeah, I just need to figure out what that value would be. Alright, let me stop on this production for now. Yeah, berries are down, which means food is down, which means I can't get my guys going. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some serious upgrading here. Oh, wow. So, what exactly do I want to do? I mean, how many guys do we have? Oh, I have a... He's no longer spade. Oops, he should be spade and axe, right? Cool. Alright, he's got a new name, Spade and X. And uh this guy's out of power. Okay, this guy's coming to charge him. I was a little bit concerned there. I was like, well, where's where's my charger unit? I think well my charger unit has memory upgrade and search upgrade. I can't give him a speed. I would like to be able to give him a speed. Flat rate for an order? Oh, that is so tough, man. That is so tough. You know, I did a lot of research on shipping costs. And I can send you to a lot of articles where people have lost their shirt on shipping costs. So it's actually, it's calculated. So all the products have a weight, including the packaging has a weight. And so when you purchase something, what happens is, is that the store takes that weight, takes your address and throws it against UPS and um, the post office. And then they come back with a value. And that's the value that I have to pay for shipping. So for me to turn around and say, everybody just pays five bucks for shipping. That means I'm eating $3 for anybody who has to pay $8 for shipping. And I am gaining, I think for the, for the shirt, uh, I don't remember what the, I think it was like four or $5 for a t-shirt shipping. So it's, it's like a break even, it's tough. It'd be tough to do that. Flat rate for points for merch? What does that mean? A flat rate of points for merch. All right, what was I doing? Oh, I was thinking about berry production. Uh, Cause our wolves slowed down. 
Oh, you order and you get like 500 points. Um... So that'd be like per order regardless, right? Well, then we're going to have to make merch, though, significant, because if I'm, <laughs> if I'm giving you 500 for an item that you purchased, the exchange rate for points for merch is going to have to be somewhere in, like, the neighborhood of, like, 5,000 or something. I need faster bush beaters. Let me, uh... Where's my flail? Let me get rid of the shovel. I don't need the shovel anymore. Let me drop the shovel off. I don't... What did I do with my flail? Oh, there it is. Grab my flail. I was waiting for these berries to kind of reproduce around here. And talking to you guys. But I need... Uh, what was that? Nine... Uh, Twelve... Everyone, your family's getting Astro merch for Christmas. Okay. Hey, just remember, if you guys are going to order for Christmas, just remember, man, get the orders to me early because I have to... The way that the process works, for those of you guys that don't remember, is I have to order from the warehouse. So it takes some time for it to get to me, and then I have to make the order and then ship it off to you guys. So don't, like, order it 10 days before Christmas and... With the hoping and praying that you get it out on Christmas Day. Or, or get it by Christmas Day. It's not going to work that way. I'd be thinking about ordering like now. Or very, very soon. Night, TBA. All right, Barry's done. Come down here. You guys kind of actually, you made a good point with that. I should probably put something on the store, let people know when uh, the last cutoff day for Christmas is going to be. Okay, that's working well. That's working well. You're going to get another beater? Yep. Let's go make some more of these guys. I should upgrade some of these bots. Like, these three bots are fine. The berry bots, let's look at that group real fast. Weeds are working okay. This is, uh, what? This should probably be part of the colonists. Make this part of the colonist group and this part of the colonist group. And let's look at the berry production unit. I've got one guy getting berries, two guys collecting berries, and one is a question mark. What is your question mark about? Oh, you were just thinking? 
Okay, well. While I have you selected, let me expand your radius out. And let me get this other guy. Expand his radius out. Let's get the berry beater upgraded. Let's um, get a head going. <laughs> I have to yes, I have to concentrate on things like other stuff. Right. That's right. <laughs> I think that was taken out of context, though. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How many points do you get per dollar? It's a lot, actually. I might have to cut it down. Let me look. Yeah, it's pretty high. It's 500 per dollar. So I'm going to have to figure out some math for that, right? I'm going to have to do some maths. I'm going to have to do some maths or... Uh, yeah, I have to change my conversion or something. I don't, I don't know. I need to... <laughs> That's too much? Alright, well what should we change it to then? Well, we can keep it high. That just means that the... Okay, hold on. You know, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll readjust everybody's numbers to match or something. Because, right, you should be able to accrue enough points without donating to be able to get merch. But then, of course, the people who do donate can get some you know, free merch uh, faster, <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> I guess I had to figure it out. Uh, see, man, this stuff's a lot of trouble. You don't even have the option to donate on your screen? It's through the PayPal. I, I gave up on Super Chat. Super Chat, they take 30%. And I said, that that's way too much. <laughs> You're a sad panda. I'm a sad panda. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> through Streamlabs, yeah, through that link that's uh, that gets posted every once in a while. Cat, you're a Patreon though. Don't worry about it. I know you're on a tight budget too. I, you know, don't even stress about it. You guys that have no money and that are on tight budgets. Do not worry about trying to donate. That's, I mean, I really appreciate it. That's fantastic. I appreciate you guys thinking about me and wanting to do that, but hey man, don't stress.
Okay. We have another guy doing... We have another guy... Whacking... Berries. And he should be whacking pretty fast, actually. Farming, I know, cat. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The best you can board support is uh, liking your stuff because when I love it and telling my friends and of course watching. No worries. No worries. I appreciate you. Liking my stuff, telling your friends, and watching all of the above. The reminders are good. Thanks, Kat. I appreciate it. I, I'm not even seeing it in a bad way. I think it's great. I appreciate your patience. <laughs> I really, really do. What are the plans for next week? Dude, I like my wife, man. I don't know, Creatine. What are your plans for next week? Thanksgiving at school. Well, well then that's going to be my plans for next week, too. Thanksgiving and uh, kids. Uh, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be doing for the week. You know, obviously we got Thanksgiving holidays going on. Uh, mine is, you know, we don't have any immediate family. My 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 parents are in on the West Coast. My wife's parents are in China. So we just do, you know, the wife and the boys. And we do Thanksgiving dinner. We don't really do anything else. It's not like we go anywhere for Thanksgiving. Uh, so it's kind of... For that, it's kind of low-keyed. All right. I, you know... Uh, I think for anything, I think what I'd probably want to do is... If I had to think of next steps for the game... I would probably want to upgrade the other berry picker and then the collector. Though this guy, man, this guy's wackadoodle. Look at him. He's insane. Look how fast he's going. I don't know that the berry bushes can grow back as fast as he can whack them. Let's watch this for a second. Because this guy is going crazy. Doing a cooking stream? I definitely, you know, during Thanksgiving dinner, I'll have a cooking stream going like I did last year. That was fun. I, I, you know, I kind of, I really appreciate that because it was, for me, it was kind of taking my mind off of all the stuff that I had to do. <laughs> Warfred, thanks for the five bucks, buddy. Appreciate that. Um... You know, because usually that's just a laundry list of stuff to prep and cook and, and all of that. So, I mean, that was that was okay. I got to hang out with you guys and talk and and do stuff. So, that worked out well. I'll probably do, like, the night before prep. I'll, I could do that in a live stream. The I don't really have a great computer to do streaming on. Um, it should you had a deep fry a turkey. Jesus. No. Uh, um... I don't really have a great computer to do live streaming on in the kitchen, but you know, if you guys can hang with it and deal with it, no problem. Deep frying a chicken, man, that's or turkey, that's kind of scary stuff. Those those turduncan when people would deep fry those. I heard that if you get water caught in those, they actually explode. Let's upgrade some gatherer bots. I wonder if I just put a speed upgrade on them. Let's just put a speed upgrade on them. Do a recording on one computer, use another computer 
to trans. Yeah, okay, how, you know, all right. How about this? How about your next donation creatine is gonna be, you know, 3,000 bucks for me for to get a new computer. How about that? <laughs> I don't have an infinite supply, buddy, guys. I, I really don't. My YouTube channel is making beer money for me. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it, man. You wanted to hurry and get points in before the rates went down? <laughs> Night, uh, record on one device and then stream it to another device? I don't even have that capability. I might be able to use um, my son's iPad or something like that, though. That might be better. Need a studio tour one day? You want a tour of my messy office? Wow. I don't know if I want to subject you to that, Submega. <laughs> you might be scarred for life. I, I don't know if I want to put you through. I had to put like a warning on that video. <laughs> Make him sign a waiver. <laughs> Make him sign a waiver, right? Oh. Uh, I don't remember what the code is. Yeah, I don't know if it's donate. It's um, Warfrat. You know what it is, right? And where the magic happens, you won't judge magic happens upstairs you'll never see that room uh well okay here yeah the link is also in the description though too right Let's see if we can upgrade these guys' uh, feet wear. Or feety wear. Uh, let's see. You need to stop and come to me. Yeah, come to me. I got shoes for you, bro. Uh, that was weird. Did you get feedy upgrades? Oh, you did. Look how fast you go. Ching. He goes super fast now. Oh, we got to feedy upgrade the other guy. Which is uh, 16. We got to feedy upgrade him. All right, hold on. Hold the phone. <laughs> we killed his brain. <laughs> it, I, look, it was, it was dead a long time ago. 16. <laughs> Is Dave in here? Dave, did you come in? Dave, you don't watch this stuff. There's nobody shooting anybody. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. All right, we got to upgrade 16. Stop, come to me. Stop what you're doing. We need to give you some new feats. Okay, enjoy yourself. Take off, 16. Take off, hoser. Oh, we should call that bot Dave. MK16 is Dave. <laughs> Cat. Cat, thanks for the donation, Cat. We're gonna call this one Dave. Dave! 
Ik doen! Ik doen, Dave! Oh, we gotta give Warfrat a one. Uh, Warfrat is going to be, uh... Oh, yeah. Warfrat is a workhorse, so he's gonna be my log carrier. Eight poles and planks. Yeah, it's nine, right? Oh, forestry. Okay. Cat is gonna be all about love. Love! Uh, who are my love people? Who cares about love around? Honest. There you go. Gappy. Woo! All about love. Oh, I got two love carriers. Here we go. Minnie's gonna be my other love carrier. Care my love, Minnie. All my love, all my kisses. You don't know what you've been a missing. Oh boy. <laughs> uh. Won't be often. It costs you five dollars and ninety nine cents for conversion, for that amount that you tipped. God, I wouldn't have done that. Forget that, eh? I appreciate it. I really, really, really appreciate it. But man, don't be doing that again. I told you, you're <laughs> you're a Patreon. <laughs> I'll just convert your points over that way. Converting from Australian bucks. Our dollar is lower than yours? Yep. Our economy's tanking. How are these guys doing? Yeah, they're actually starting to get up there. That little uh, conversion is helping out. So we're at 14. I mean, they still have some excess. It'd be better if they could carry more. And they really do go slower in the dirt. I wonder if I could build them a pathway and they would take the preferred path. Hmm. Good question, huh? All right, everything is working. There it is. Flooring's complete. Dink, dink, dink. All right, flooring got done, which is great because now I can do floors. And floors take planks and logs. Planks and logs, planks and logs. And then I can actually do, not the basic workbench. It's the, oh, it's the, um. hold on. What, what am I looking for? I'm looking for... I am looking for structural parts. To be able to update the robot, I need structural parts. And that's a pole. I need the pegs, I need the square frame, and I need the planks. And then, of course, the structural workbench. And the structural workbench, you can't make anything on it until you have floors down. That's what I needed. That's the ticket. I just, I just lost, everything just went out of my head. I just lost it. What was I doing? <laughs> oh my God. I so dumb. I so dumb, son. Uh. I gave dumb a good name. Um, what did I say I was going to do? Oh, I was going to build, oh yes, research. <laughs> that hurt. That hurt. I needed a pole. That hurt my brain. 
That hurt my brain. That hurt my brain. Pull. Pull. Good. You were singing, <laughs> you were singing Buddy Holly. Uh, I was not singing Buddy Holly. You did not hear any of that stuff out of me. We're still not fast enough on the berries, though. I think I'm just going to have to give this other berry whacker a full-on upgrade. He needs the wackadoodle much faster. These, All these guys need to be full-on upgraded. You know, I haven't built bot storage. What does it take to build bot storage? And what does bot storage do for you? Dang it, I keep hitting the wrong button. What does bot storage do? Yeah, I know, I have it in my hand. What does it do, though? Oh, panels and squares. See? Can't do it. Need a workbench. I need a workbench. Uh, but let's do this. Let's pick up these stones and drop these guys off here. And two. Get two sticks. Make these really fast. This guy will be standing around going, What am I supposed to be doing, yo? Okay, that's good. Um, let's get the floor in place. So, I want a piece of flooring, something like this. I need enough room for two. Now, this takes a lot. I mean, it takes logs and it takes planks, but we can build a bot for that. Let's build a bot for that. And then we'll convert that bot over to something else. We'll, we'll have him replace a berry or something. Berry guy. Oh, dang it. Come on. Right click, left click. Right click, left click. You can do it. He needs a wackadoodle much faster. He does need a wackadoodle much faster. He's going slow, man. That dude was going slow. Oh, God. I picked up a pick. Give me a pick. Drop that off. Pick this up. Okay. Get the drivetrain. Get our drivetrain. Uh, one of each. Barry Pickinator. No, oh, I need it. Okay, let's get this bot built. Bingo. Bingo bot's done. Uh, done. Uh, let's make him faster. Give him some wheels. Those gears made. Nineteen. Take it easy, buddy. Sleep tight. Don't let that school bite. Alright, shoes for the bot. Bingo. Alright, Mr. Bot. Uh, how did we do this? We... We want him to pick up a log. It's What is it? One log and two planks. So go to the pallet. Find a blueprint. Drop it into the blueprint. Right. So that's one. And the next thing I want to do is find a blueprint. Uh, drop it into a blueprint. Two. Change the radius to be here. Change this radius to be here. And do that forever. Go.
go. We'll see how this works out. I, I haven't really tried to build anything. I mean, we did build the other... It needs two planks. We'll see how it builds this thing. Yeah, it's just gonna. I think it's just gonna randomly drop it in there. I mean, I guess what I could have done was loop a couple things so that he builds it in order. But I think he's just gonna fill up the orders. I mean, he's well. Okay, I could be more efficient with this, right? Here, stop. Don't do anything. Stop! Don't grab anything. Dang it, I didn't want you to grab a log. Give me your stinky log now. Uh, Alright, let me finish out these two. Two, right? Yeah, so I need one more. Finish out these guys. So we could put a loop into here, and we can say grab two. All right, so we say do that two times, then move and drop it. Do that one time, move and drop it. Okay, so... Yes, that's correct. Grab two. Then drop it. Okay, that should be right. Let's see what let's see if he does what he's supposed to do. So grab one. Yep. Finds the first blueprint. Jeff, what's going on, bud? You're in lurker mode. <laughs> Oh, hey, you were supposed to drop it twice. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, that was dumb. That got dumb really fast. Give me your stupid log. Or your plank. Whatever you have. Now I gotta drop it off for you. I made the mistake. I did it. Repeat two times. He did grab two, right? He took two from that. So I need another loop in here. And this also needs to be until the hands are empty. And then we'll drop it in there like that. Okay, now go. Now let's see if he's smart. All right, you're gonna do it, right? Thank you. Dummy. All right, that's good. So he's gonna keep working on that. The tile bot is now working. Uh, what's going on here? I know quote raffle and custom social here. Want me to do it for you, lazy rat. No disrespect. <laughs> what? What is going on? Uh, some streams lurk works as well. Trying to see commands for the donate link. Well, I know donate would be custom. So as one last midnight. Um, What is... What is donate? Justin, what's going on? Uh, commands for... Oh, uh, it's just part of this. I think it's all part of this. No social... Store is what? Um... I think store also has the donation stuff in it, doesn't it? So 
Postal's only Discord. Try store. Doesn't store have it in there? Doesn't it show up every once in a while? Oh, uh, yeah. You can donate to one last midnight stream. Money goes to blah, 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 blah. Yeah, where does that come up? I have no idea where that's at. Uh, part of default? Is donate? I don't know. I'd have to look it up. I'm busy right now, man. I'm busy now. <coughs> Is it on a timer? Oh, it's on a timer. It's on a timer. It's not. It's not a command. It's on a timer. It happens. It happens uh, once every 40 minutes. All right, back to this. Back to this. All right, this guy's making my floor, which is good. He's doing a good job on the floor. Good job. Good job. Basic bot workbench. Oh no, I'm still researching the other one. It's uh, it's not quite done yet. The structural work. <laughs> nice floor. Thanks. Thanks. The bot's kicking butt. He's working on it. We need to get more wackadoodle bots though. We don't have enough of them. Why are you... Oh, God dang it. Well, that's going to be a problem. Hold on, hold on. I really got to get a bot on production of this. These guys are starting to go through them faster. Since they're smacking bushes harder. Justin three. And we're getting a lot of Justins. Of course we've got Justin time. We've got uh Justin um F Tile place in eight or five thousand? You know it, baby. Justin E, Justin E, yeah. All right, done and done. We need a bot. I mean, the bots for the that wound up working on a, the crude axe and the spade is doing exceptionally well. I don't really, honestly, probably don't need picks that often. I mean, I'm just not going through stone fast enough. There needs to be some other use for stone other than building tools because I'm I'm not using them. I'm not using it up. I am well okay I said my berry production was kind of down but it's really not I mean I've got 40 berries in the hopper so my cook is not fast enough my cook is a little slow we might need to have a couple more people delivering food these guys are, these guys are eating too much. Like, here's a food delivery. They're eating pretty fast. I might need a second cooking bot, though. That might be the problem. The single cooking bot not doing the trick. More, please. <laughs> more, is that more to me? More cooking bots and stuff?
How long have I, oh my god, I've been streaming for three hours. I've been streaming this game for three hours. Well, that's one thing about this game. You know, I... The, the only thing I have to say about this game is that things do take time, but the time goes quickly. I mean, you, you start getting focused on, you know, trying to do this or trying to do that and making sure you guys are wackadoodle correctly and, you know, the upgrade part takes a while. I mean, we spent a good majority of this stream just updating robots and we don't even have half of them. I got 30 bots and I think I've maybe updated a couple of them. And I need to stop making more bots and I need to start updating existing bots. So if I'm speaking in my defense, which I am, <laughs> I am speaking for myself now, is that I am only making bots uh, that are have new assignments. I haven't like, you know, put one, well, I did in the beginning. I put two off to the side, but then I did wind up using those bots. We have a Justin time now. Justin was, uh, Justin time. He was like one of my first subscribers way back when. Early on, excuse me, it's late, tired, long day. Um, really early on. Cat was another one. Candy B, I think Candy, Candy 64, Candy 64, probably like the very first. I keep forgetting who my very first subscriber was. All right, this guy, hey, you need to stop. Whoa, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like. You, bud, stop what you're doing. Drop everything. Come over to me. Thank you. Here. Come over to me. Uh, I, I need to do something else with you. Jeff, what are you doing, man? Mini Queenie, you've been around for like a year or two, right? We go way back. Mini Queenie and I go way back. <laughs> uh, uh. Worf needs more power. Worf's got plenty of power. What are you talking about? Worf's a power fiend. Discover me from Astroneer? Yeah. Yeah. I like me some Astroneer. Jeff's trying to help you with commands. Alright. Alright. I don't know if I gave you the command to add commands or not. Are we almost got, we're almost at 1500. Oh, almost at 1500. This guy is gonna be a, ooh. Hmm. Uh, I'm trying to decide. This guy's probably gonna be working in this area though. How many bots? I need two bot upgrades, three bot upgrades here. I have a fourth one. These guys are okay being lazy bots. I mean, I'm okay. They don't need to work any faster. I mean, how fast do you really need to cut down trees, make plankton, do poles? I mean, these, this production line is good. 
I don't think I'll ever upgrade this production line because we our consumption is not that high. Now, berry consumption, on the other hand, friggin' berryaholics. Yes, Paris, Justin, what? What? Nothing better to do than watch. Uh, points? Points. Points, 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 points. You have 10 points, bud. Woo, the power of 10 points. What can you get for that? Well, you get to sniff the candy wrapper. No, 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 sorry, sorry. Sniff the candy wrapper is 25 points. You just get to look the candy wrapper from a very long distance. <laughs> the one raffle next entry time, right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're almost done, right? Yep, we've got uh, maybe 100 more to go. The problem is they're not getting fed fast enough. I need a new cook is what I need. Mini Queenie, 551 points. Wow, you get to lick the candy. You get to lick the candy. <laughs> you don't get to eat it. You just get to lick it. It can be a slow lick though. You know, if it's chocolate, you'll actually get some chocolate off of that. All right, we're about to pop. There it is. Doo doo doo. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, it's like Christmas. All right, structural workbench. Yeah, I've under unlocked a new level, level three tech, which means I can actually go with like better farming, which will give me better food. So shelter, right? Stone cottages, level three cooking. They get leisure. I <laughs> basic play things. Oh my God. Uh, it'd be cool to get a guy up to level three, but I think I need to do a bunch of tech. Because we're talking about a stone cottage. That means I'm going to need simple stone shaping tools. Right. Uh, there's probably going to be like bricks or something. Oh, shelter. Log cabin. Okay, wait. So that would be a log cabin. Well, we could do a log. But then I'd have to go level 3 cooking. What, what can I do for level 3 cooking? Hold on. Before I commit to anything. Level 3. Is there a level 3 berry? Stewed berry. And a stewed berry is a crude cooking pot, spiced berries, water, and a clay pot. Oh my God. So I got to have clay production down. I have to have some sort of water production down. Holy God. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. War, you know, nerd too late in Warfrat. The you, those guys have the most, and DBA. I think DBA has the most too. <laughs> Your points, mine, all oh mine. My points, my. Uh, what can we build up here? What? Have, oh, we got the um, we got the pegs and stuff. These are pegs. Yep. I need another peg production. Let me put down some grass over there. <laughs> it's my candy. Mine. <laughs> you know, I thought about doing like there's like betting and there's games and stuff like that that you can use your points on inside of Streamlabs, but I I'll be honest, I found those incredibly annoying. You know, when I'm watching a stream and all of that stuff is flying around, I I just find it incredibly annoying. Do you earn one point a minute? I'd have to look it up. I think it's five. I'm like five a minute. All 
All right, let's get the structural workbench down. Uh, before I do that, I need another chopping block. Let's get another chopping block production in here. That is going to be pegs. Was that a log and an axe? Okay, we got that. Got that covered, yo. Log. Axe. Okay. Yeah, only when the stream is boring. I know. I don't think uptime has ever worked for me. The command uptime, I have it turned on. And it never, it never does it. Let me see if it's on. Command, default, uh, uptime. No, no uptime. What is it? Uh, what is it called here? No, uptime is not listed. I need to do uptime. Up, time, up, time, girl. You totally have an uh, yeah, uptime. Uh, everybody can do it. It says your stream has been open for something minutes, and uh, yeah, it's not. It doesn't do it. Doesn't do it. Hmm. You're saving up to get my car? Cool, buddy. <laughs> cool. I need a new car anyways. You can have my old one. You can have my old car. My old school car. Alright, I did uh, I did pegs. I'm going to have to store the pegs, and I think the pegs are stored in barrels or crates. Is that what they're stored in? Let's see. Pegs. Are stored in what are the where are the pegs? Yep, they're stored in a crate. Ugh. Ugh. Really? Well, I can make them here. Okay, you know what? I'll store them over there. I'll store them with. My other stuff. Uh, let's see. Holes and planks. The break stream labs? Yep. It's gonna turn around and say, Stop it! There might be a timer on points. I'm not too sure how often I put that put that on there. Okay, uh, I have that. I could trade a bot, right? Oh, look at. Oh god, it's getting backed up. It's getting backed up because I'm not doing anything. What? Oh, I gotta pick research. Hold on, because that'll go away. That will disappear into the never never, and we don't want that to happen. Uh let's do stone shaping. A stone shaping or log cabin? Actually, let's do a log cabin. Do a log cabin, let's grab a log. Come over here. Don't lose my pool. Don't lose it. Uh lo uh wrong log? Log was basic walls, cabin, yeah, 2500, that's what we want. Go. Go, 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 go. Yes, okay, we're gonna start storing. Everything is gonna be fine now. All right, that was a little bit sidetracked from all that nastiness down there in the chat window. For shame, for shame on you guys. All right, I need to make pegs. Because I need this structural workbench. 
Uh, well, I guess I could have it like this. I prefer to have them side by side. I can rotate these around, but yeah. Oh, that works. I didn't think that would work because the out is not on a... Well, I'm going with it. Screw it. Okay, stones, poles, planks, logs, pegs. Poo! Just a asking for much, are you? Four. Night, Justin. Three. Take it easy, buddy. Big shopping list? Yes, it is. It's a super size shopping list. We're going to need a guy producing these pegs because I'm going to need a crap ton of pegs. I'm going to need a peg ton. Okay. The worst part is the logs. The logs are so heavy, you can only carry them over one at a time. So, oh, let's start the trip. Uh. I could make that bot do it for me, but you know, by the time I get the bot programmed, I can have it done. Get over there, little guy. Am I not vaping anymore? I still vape. I've been hitting it from time to time. I'm kind of weaning off. I've been on... Um, it's taken me, what, three years? Maybe a little bit over three years to get down to uh, uh, three milligrams. I'm, I'm about to convert over to zero. And then... Then it's just getting over the um, psychological of smoking. But I'm vaping less and less. You working off of six? Cool. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah, I started at, uh, what was it, 12 or 18 mLs? I think it was 12. And uh, have been going down from there. But I decided to take it slow. I tried everything else. I tried the patch. I tried uh, a drug. I tried whatever. I just could not stop smoking. But vaping has actually helped me transition out. Oh, no, it did tell me that I don't have enough. Oh, dang it. You so smart. Oh, and it won't let me put it down. No. Come on, you turkey head. Really? Dang. Uh, where was the bot that was making... Hey, go back to work. You're not done yet. Okay, so this can be set up for frames. And we'll set the other one up for, what is it, planks or something like that? I need a tile placinator. Absolutely. It's kind of cool that we have that guy set up for flooring, though. For the wood flooring. Because then I could just, you know, keep a program for wood flooring and then just move it around.
All right, I should be able to move that back. Bink. Good. Okay, let's set you up. All right, see? Everything takes pegs. I'm going to need bots to... Absolutely work on these. Oh, God. All right, well, I'm done for the night. Three and a half hours of doing this. I'm done. I'm done, yo. I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful evening. Probably not going to do any more videos on Autonauts. We've kind of, you know, this is the game. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. And if this is something that interests you, I have but six videos up that shows the gameplay. Plus, uh, excuse me, plus this live stream, which is three and a half hours. And so I think, you know, with that total amount of video in this three and a half hours, it's enough for you guys to get a good understanding of how the game works. It's probably something I will play on the side, just as, you know, something that I want to do. I doubt that I'm going to record a video for it. If I do record a video for it again, uh, it'll be to show you guys, okay, I've made it to level three or level four or something like that, but not go through this uh, process with you because it's, a, it's time consuming. It takes a while to get all this stuff up and running and have these guys do all of this stuff. But at any rate, thank you again. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see y'all. Good night, guys. Oh, XCOM tomorrow. XCOM tomorrow. So get your head in because we're going in again. And we're trying to take out the Avatar Project. This time, I swear, we're doing it. See ya. Good night.